Hello and welcome to Studs Up. Mm. I'm so excited to be here. We are talking about nothing but football for the next 30 minutes. Mm. I'm Rory Jennings. Mm. And he's Nathan Caton. Mm. Nathan, mm? you can't eat a pie on live TV. It's not a pie. It's a pasty. It's a good one too, man. See, I'm still on the show. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't care. It's an absolute joke. The players suck. You know it's coming. Worst of the week. Captain the pasty, hang on there. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Jack Collison is on his way. He's just stuck in a bit of traffic because Doris is a hoe. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. But <laughs> there's been some really, really big news. Really big news. What's that? Claudio Ranieri has parted company with Leicester. That's just serious? broken. That story is broken on the Gold website. Check it out. Unbelievable. Oh, Did you see really? that one coming? I, I thought he would have gone in the summer. I didn't. I just didn't see this one coming. They had a good result in the week. I thought. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, we've got, we got um, Sevilla. Yeah. Really oh, my big goodness. away goal. Yeah, really big. But there is more on that story to come. Mm. Um, Emma, what's, what's going on on, on social media, man? Babe, you've got a bit of schmutz there. Have I? Sorry. My How bad. was the pasty? It was Typical, nice. hey? It was Typical. Pasty oh, God. Uh, so I'm looking after Social Corner. Uh, so make sure you get involved on our Facebook.com slash goal, on our Twitter, goal, and Instagram, goal global. Use that hashtag studs up. There is just so much pressure going on at the moment, isn't there? It's We're struggling. You know, the storm is keeping Jack Collison from our midst. It's painful. <laughs> Claudio Ranieri's gone. Yeah. And do you know what? With it being like so pressurised, it's kind of got me thinking to my favourite segment of the show. What's that? It's when we talk to Duncan Alexander, the Opta geek who makes stats sexy. Um, he's <laughs> going to bring us the Opta Pressure Index, and it's powered by gold and brought to you by Shaw. Stats are sexy. Apparently. <laughs> Premier League is back this weekend, although the most impressive performer from Match Week 25 is going to have other things on his mind. Southampton's Manolo Gabbiadini followed up his goal-scoring debut in an otherwise dispiriting defeat to West Ham with a brace in his second game against Sunderland to halt St. Slide down the table. It's all very well reaching cup finals and Gabbiadini should feature in the EFL Cup showpiece on Sunday, but if it comes at the expense of league form, then it's a bit of a poison chalice. Gabbiadini scored a superb 97 on the pressure index as he became only the 16th player to score three goals in his first two Premier League appearances. Also scoring highly in match week 25 was Sadio Mane, whose two goals in 138 seconds against Tottenham ended Liverpool's slump, and Manuel Lanzini whose late goal against West Brom took him to 11 in the Premier League, already as many as fallen heroes in each player. Lanzini, with two goals and two assists in his last five appearances, appears to be handling the pressure of being the main provider at London Stadium, better than anyone expected. In the seasonal pressure index, David Silva maintains his position at the top with his recent masterclass against Bournemouth, wearing the captain's armband, one of the driving forces behind City's success. I'll be back later with an index update on the Blues battling at opposite ends of the table. Three goals in his opening two games for Gabbiadini. Impressive, isn't it? Very impressive. I mean, normally when you get strikers coming from overseas, it takes a little while to settle in, but he's just hit the ground running, man. Brilliant, isn't it? Uh, he's going to need to be more brilliant on Sunday in the cup final. <sighs> well, I know, he's got a very big week ahead. But did you keep, like, the top of that table, the top of the pressure index, mm. David Silva. There is no end to this man's brilliance, is there? He is what I would call coolness personified. Yeah, he just you know? doesn't have a flaw in his game, I don't think. No, he just, it's just set silk smooth. Yeah, As, it's true. He's one of those midfielders who, who is very difficult to pinpoint exactly where it goes wrong for him. He's excellent on the ball. Yeah. He's got an eye for a goal. Mm -hmm. He's got very good vision. He works very hard. Yeah. He's just like the most complete midfielder in the league at the moment, as is testified to by his uh, positioning in the pressure yeah. index. 
the Rolls Royce, I would call him. <laughs> so, so uh, Emma, what's, what's going on in, in the social There's a world? lot of good scorers at the moment, right? Mm. Uh, so, on Facebook, we have set up a poll. We want you to vote who do you think is the top scorer in the Premier League. At the moment, we've got Sanchez, La Cuckoo. Uh, no, I didn't even say that right, did I? La Cuckoo. We can call him Cuckoo. Uh, Costa, want. and we've also got Zlatan. So, make sure you choose that little emoji. And also, write some comments as well. If there's a scorer that you want or you think it's going to be up there, um, then just write it in the little box below and I'll read them out a little bit later. Quality. Yeah. Looking forward, all very impressive names, yeah. but as good as some of those players are, I don't think that any of them could do this. Incredible, and he is here. He's standing right next to me. It's Mr. Rabona himself. That's outrageous. I cannot believe he did that. A Rabona volley onto a crossbar. Yes. What are you playing at? It's embarrassing for people like me who's happy just kicking it onto a crossbar. Yeah. How, how often do you have to practice? Uh, not, not, no, not too much. Oh, uh, brilliant. <laughs> not too much. That's all you need to hear, isn't it? Somebody like me kicking a football up against the wall all of my life can't do anything like that. No, you, you don't just, even have to it's practice. Just, it's just pra it is practice, but it's like. Yeah, I think when I was younger, I used to just bang out kick-ups. Right, well, I've time. always... I've never quite been the footballer that I want to be. Yeah. I've always fancied myself as a bit of a skill merchant. Impart some wisdom. No, no, you, over to you. You, you sure? to demonstrate. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, demonstrate, and then I'll go for it. How good are you, though? Uh, terrible. Average yeah. at best, yeah. Right. Average at uh, best. Let's give it a go. Oh! Oh! <coughs> See, well, I, I don't even think I could... That's, that's a new low. You're giving me a <laughs> sponge ball. You don't trust me with the proper ball. I cannot believe that. So, you flick it. You flick it onto one foot. Yeah, just flick it up over the. I flick it up over my weaker foot. You flick then... it up over your weaker foot and then flick it on. This isn't going to happen, it. is it? Don't look at me like that, Nathan. I know you can't do this. What uh, is that a challenge? <laughs> right, right. Ready? So onto the weaker foot and then away. Yeah. It's appalling. Let me go. 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 Hold on. Let me show you that. It's done. Watch this, right? You are ready for this. You are ready for this. It's good. He's okay. Sign him up. I meant what? to do that. I, I meant to do that. Right. Let's get the proper ball back. Then. Oh, right. Let's yeah. see how it goes. Right. Let's see it properly. Cool. Right. So I can't do it. I'm going to slow it down. We flick it up onto the weak foot like that. To start off with. Right. You might have seen Ronaldinho do that yeah. back in the day, old school. Whoopsie. I just can't do it. <laughs> Let's go again. I'm One more time. I would not be able to do that. There we go. How many touches is that? Four touches in one? Three, yeah, four <laughs> touches in one. That is unbelievable. Right, one. come on, let's go over here. Cheers. Good work, man. Good skill. <laughs> nice one. Boy, Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? That was, that was incredible. Going on? That really so, was good. From the lovely, from, from, from the sublime to the outright ridiculous, here is the worst of the week. All right, guys, Mac here from Full Time Devils. How are you all doing? So I've been having a little think about my worst of the week. And it's been a difficult one. There's loads to choose from, but I have made my decision. Now, a lot of people have been moaning. A lot have been moaning about some pitch down in Bournemouth injuring some poor old City player, Gabriel Jesus. The hype started and then he's injured and disappears again. Will he rise again? I don't know, I don't care. A lot of moaning about that. And then, secondly, Second choice for worth of the week is Arsenal. Not just their fans, not just their players, not just their manager, the whole club. It's an absolute joke. The manager, the same mistakes year in, year out. The players, soft. They're absolutely soft. They're not gonna win any trophies, let's be real. And the, the fans, the fans, you expect it. You know it's coming, but yet you still get angry. And plus, Arsenal aren't Liverpool, they're not Man United, they're not Real Madrid, they're not Bayern Munich. They're not an elite club. They shouldn't be expecting European Cups and league titles like they do. So why do they? It doesn't make any sense. And thirdly, thirdly, for worst of the week, this is my top choice this week, by the way. Mark Klattenberg. 
Mark Clattenburg, he's got a move to Saudi Arabia. Big money move to Saudi Arabia. He'll be managing Al Ahli against, I don't know who, in Saudi Arabia, but he's cited his reasons for moving are a lack of support from the FA. A lack of support from the FA. In 2012, five years ago, Mark, why don't you just be honest and say, look, I moved for the money. We respect you a little bit more then. That's my worst of the week, guys. What do you think? That was brilliant. Thank you so much to Adam McCola from Full Time Devils there. I think he's put forward some very good people. Alfie, the three that he's put forward, he's put forward the pitch at Bournemouth. Yep. Arsenal Football Club in their en entirety. He's put forward like the players, the fans, the manager, everything. So and he's lot. also put forward Mark Clattenburg. You yeah. have a massive job here. Go on. Your job is to take down two of these, but the one you leave, just remember this, the one that you leave will remain there forever. So Patrick Van Arnholt is up there from a couple of weeks ago. He Still. is now on a wall of shame forever. So don't take this decision lightly. So they're going to stay up there forever? They will be there forever. So be very sure. Is it the pitch at Bournemouth? Is it Arsenal Football Club? Or is it Mark Clattenburg? Uh, I don't really like Mark Clattenburg. So, so who's to remain? Who's to remain? Yeah, Mark Clattenburg. Clattenburg to yeah, remain. Clattenburg so to if remain. you take the other two down... Yep. Rip them, down, rip them down. And Mark, so that's it. Mark Clattenburg is there forever. I hope you're happy with that, Adam McCola. Right, should we have a seat? No. Nah. Do you agree with that? No. Nah. Why not? But why are we talking about a referee? Off to you. Referee oh, should be anonymous. I'm happy. Referee should be... But, referee, all referees should wear burkas. <laughs> but for that right. reason alone... <laughs> no, because they're supposed to be anonymous, so we can't see them. The best referees are the ones you can't see. I see. But if you think that referees should be anonymous, surely that's a reason for Mark Clattenburg to be on the wall. Like, does he not deserve to be on the wall of shame because he's not anonymous? He's a celebrity. I see what you did there. You're very smart. Spun it. Yeah, exactly. You should be a politician. <laughs> <laughs> All this week, we have been scouring the internet for the best social media links. Now, we're going to start off with one of the most hilarious videos. Oh. Did Lou uh, David Louise mean to do this? Hello and welcome along to Big Matt Preview. Tomorrow, Chelsea going in search oh. of another... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm tapping out. Oh, no. One, two, three. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> that is a new suit. 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 I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh, was man. it stage? Was it stage? Did he mean to do that? I just love him so much. I could watch that all day. He's it would have been man. It would have been funny if it wasn't the, the right person. I just love it. How it's like tap out, tap out. We've got to watch it again though. Sorry, I'm just so so funny. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello and welcome along to Big Matt Preview tomorrow. Three, Chelsea going two, search. One. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. That is ten pounds worth of matter down the drain. I don't think the man even saw it coming. It's what? quite, it's quite heavy. Look, I bet. You know what? I think he was actually hurt. I think he winded. I genuinely feel as though he winded yeah. like that smile yeah. at the end. Was just, he's moaning about his suit. He was like, oh damn, you know, I'm a bit in pain there, but it's just gonna take it on David the chin. So take much. it on the chin. I just love him. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next clip. Uh, Jermaine Defoe, right? He he can score a good goal, right? Definitely. Lots How many attempts do you think it took him to do this? One. He's brilliant. Take 1001, so... 10 hours no, later. I disagree. Yeah, it? That's... I would... They're on a the Snapchat. Think... I passionately disagree. Retake him, retake him. Yeah. yeah. How many times yeah, yeah. do you think he would have done that? Uh, that's not Jermaine Defoe well, for man, me. You're a man who records himself <laughs> doing skills. How many times do you record it? Or is it all. How many times did the Rabona crossbar challenge take? Honestly? Go on, say first yeah. time. Say first time. He's going to say first time. Three times. Three times. Oh, stop three it. times. You humble it. man. Just so Remember humble. Oh. Yeah. I would dream of doing that with him three. <laughs> Tell me 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's round it off with the king. We can't do a week without Pogba. No. Oh, have a look at this. Gros, c'est la Pogba. C'est la Pogba. La Pogba. Bang, bang. Gros, c'est la Pogba. C'est la Pogba. Ah, la Pogba. What? I think oh, he needs to have his own album of all of We don't know what he's saying. No. So for all we know... No, he, I don't even know. What is he for saying? For all we know, his family people are going, we don't pay tax, we don't pay <laughs> tax. <laughs> and they're going, yeah, yeah, <laughs> ooh, ooh. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> someone, someone translate and send yeah. us in. Yeah, drop a comment in the box incredible. below. I'm going to read some of those out a little bit later as well. It's incredible, the Pogba's, isn't it? Like, just think, last night you had 
the Pogba's playing each other. You had Manchester United versus Saint-Étienne, you had Pogba versus Pogba. Mm. They're an incredible footballing dynasty, aren't they? I think there's three brothers who play football. Do you know, it kind of got us thinking, who, what other footballing siblings have played in the Premier League? Take a look at our top five. I, I think that was brilliant. I just love that. Imagine mm. being part of a footballing dynasty like that. You put Torres at number one. Torres at number one. I think it's probably because of his brilliant song. Can oh. we get? Can we get? Can oh. we get the Silvers? Oh, what? Do you think we've left someone out? Yeah, yeah. The so, Silver. Sil you Sil think Sil Rafa? Rafa? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, think they yeah. deserve to be there? What to be number one? Or just within the top five? No, I'm putting top two. Top two. Yeah. Top two. Yeah, yeah. Top two. Yeah. Who do you put Ballers. Ballers. for Manchester United? Ballers. Simultaneously, is huge, isn't it? You said to you said Torres. No, I, I would have put the Neville's at. Number one. Because all of the, the success that they had at Man United, didn't it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's quite true. Do you know what? While we're on the topic of Manchester United, yeah. there, there's been rumours, haven't there, about Wayne Rooney oh. leaving? Is he not leaving? Yeah. A few days ago, Jose Mourinho said that he was desperate for him not to, not to leave. Mm. And let's have a look at that, actually. You have to ask him if he sees himself staying in, uh, in the club for the rest of his career or if he sees himself moving. It's not a question for me because I'm happy to, to have him. Oh. But the weird thing is, again, breaking news today, Wayne Rooney released his, t uh, his tweet saying that he's, uh, he's staying. So uh, can, can we see that? There it is. There we go. There it is. Rooney. 100%. He was never going anywhere. Did you not, did you not think? No, no way. No way. I, I, I think the whole, like, I love him as a player. And, you know, I think there's been a lot of criticism around him this season that he's, like, he's gone. He's completely gone, but I still see him like sitting in the hole with the kind of Paul Scholes. Right. You know. So you think, do you, do you feel like he's eventually going to end up going to China, or do you think that it's not happening? I reckon I can see him in America, but not now. Not now. So not now. Yeah, not, not now. now. So we are going to put our believe meter on nonsense. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I like the definitive answer. All right. Uh, I've got I've got room for you guys. Um, I've heard about uh, the Ox, Ox <laughs> Chamberlain, Arsenal, going to uh, going go to Manchester United. So uh, right. what do you make of that? I mean. Would Arsenal really sell another player to a rival? They've done it over the years so many times now. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that Arsenal would. I think when you look, yeah, well, all you've got to do is cast your mind back. I think off the top of my head, I could name about five players, five big players they, that have gone. Do you think they can go? I can see it, but the Depay, Depay's gone, isn't he? Yeah. 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 So maybe a replacement there. I mean, that's a bit late, isn't it? And apparently right. Ashley Young could be on his way out. Yeah, well. Ashley Young could be on his way so out. So where do you think we should put our Believometer here? Do you think this, there's any mileage in this one or do you think it's gone? N yeah, so... No, I think I can see him, I can see him. I could see him going to Man United. So, so. Put maybe. So yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Right, uh, yeah, maybe. right. Put him in the middle, yeah, maybe. I see. And <clears throat> um, do you know what, while we're on the ar yeah. subject of Arsenal, yep. there's one more player who I think it looks like he really could be on his way out. Who's that? And that's Perez. Can you uh, see this one? I know what you're thinking. Who? Uh, <laughs> he's been for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I think he's definitely going to leave. I reckon, yeah, but he's out. Yeah, he's mm. gone. He's out, that's nailed on. Yeah. yeah. So that breaking news about Ranieri, yeah. I can't believe that. I, I really can't, especially the timing surprises me massively because Seville, you know, I was, I was in Seville last week, I went to a game there, they looked Clang. like a really good team. <laughs> they looked like a really good team, though. I went to a match there and they looked good. And, and I just couldn't see, I just couldn't see Leicester getting anything there. Why, why were you in Seville? I was there on a footballing jaunt. Footballing jaunt? <laughs> Already? He's... Uh, I, 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 heard, uh, I heard he was uh, living up on his stag, do you, mate? I was, I was on my stag hey. in Seville. But I did also catch a game, <laughs> and Seville, wait, Seville played Ibear. Did, 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 wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, what did you do on his stag, do you, mate? I, I, I want to know this now. <laughs> but the, the point is, Ranieri got a really good result in a very hard environment. <laughs> I think I, I'm just surprised they got rid of him. I think he's doing a good job there, at least in that. He's in that. kept their best player out all season, though, Damari Gray. 
He's a good he's got, he's got, yeah, he's got to play him. He's, he's not, I don't know why he doesn't start him. Would you rate him that highly, Damari Gray? I, I think he's an unbelievable talent. That's an interesting one, do you? Unbelievable yeah. talent. Oh, that's a very interesting one. I wonder if people, do you guys watching at home, actually, do you agree with Alfie there? Do you think Damari Gray deserves that kind of accolade? I'm not, I'm not so sure. Emma, what are people saying? Yeah, we've got a couple of comments, actually. Bradley, so going on to Claudio, um, Bradley saying that, you know, I can't believe Claudio has been sat. He built that team up and now he's gone. There's a lot of people which um, also are saying that Wenger should have gone out. They're making room for him <laughs> as well. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Amy's actually got in contact and she said Zlatan all the way for the top scorers as well. So if you want to get involved, uh, Comment in the little box below and share, all right? That is brilliant. Do you know do you know what? I love talking about the top of the game. I love everything that goes on at the top. You know, obviously I support a team that are at the top, but uh. I love that. But I think it's also important to remember that the, the, the fundamental brilliance of football mm. is what goes on at grassroots level. Let's take a look at this brilliant, brilliant strike provided to us by our friends at Grassroots Goals. Well, it's his left foot. Yeah, it was, he messed up at first, man. I mean, that. I mean, the goal was good, but the yeah. build-up was even better. Do you know who the <laughs> real hero of that clip is? The guy who got smacked in the face. Oh man, it's, can, can we see that again? He's the real it was, hero. See the size of the geezer who took the shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine the power <laughs> going behind the bullet. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. Oh. That is awful. That man deserves a, a medal. He's a hero. He does that... not know where he is right now. I oh, know, and the poor bloke has then conceded a goal. He just does not deserve that. Any man who puts his head in front of a ball moving at that pace gets my full and utter respect. I think we should have a moment of silence for that man. Just... That man definitely does deserve. Like, what a hero he is. Yeah, really, really good. good. So, what's we should... Are you a dead ball specialist? I've scored a few decent free kicks in my time. Yeah. I've scored a few... Yeah, I've scored a few corners, actually. I like to corner. Yeah? I like to corner, yeah. Well, whip it I just, in. I just try and shoot. Just well, straight, from yeah, corner. straight from the corner. Yeah, what about you, Nathan? Scored many corners? Scored many corners? <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, don't, I get nowhere near the corner. I, <laughs> I, I stay away uh, just to do as least damage yeah. as possible. Cut the corners. <laughs> like that's how I do, man. <laughs> do you know what? I really want your opinion on. There is a, some you know, huge matches this weekend, but yeah. in my opinion, this weekend isn't all about what's going on at the top of the league. It's actually about what's going on at the bottom. I think that it's really, really big. If you have a look at that beautiful poster, <clears throat> I think that these two players are actually holding the key to their team's success this Negredo weekend. Negredo and Benteke. Negredo yeah. and Benteke. It's not about what's going on at the top of the league this yeah. weekend. It's, it's a relegation, relegation weekend. Yeah. Palace Borough. You... Yeah. Palace Borough. How do you see that one going? Oh, Sam hasn't got off to a good start. So... Bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's bad. But he's Go never on. been... He always kind of scrapes he... it in, I isn't just... it? I... I think he's... His time is kind of up. Well, first time. What do you think he's going to go down, Alan? I think he's going to go down, like with the whole England stuff. That's, I, I, I can't see. I think. See, I, I just think that Borough are in such free fall. They're really yeah. struggling, Borough. They, they're the, they are the team who have gone the longest without recording a victory. I think they've gone eight games without a victory. They've actually got a decent team. Though. I did say that. See, Remember a few weeks ago, I said Borough are going to get dragged in, and you were like, "No, nah, I'm not sure." <laughs> I, but yeah, I took, mate, they didn't score enough goals. Yeah. I don't, um, it's true, but, but so out of those two I'm going, games, I'm going, I'm going Borough. I'm yeah. going Borough. But I, I, it's not going to be a draw. I know no, that, it's not going to be a draw. In the last, um, in the last 15 games between these two at Silas Park, it's never been a draw. So, so it's been someone's always won. So it's going to be a winner somehow. You think I, it'll be a winner? I think Palace. Right. So it's all about the pressure. This, I think it's going to be huge amounts yeah. of pressure this weekend mm. in that game. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of pressure, I think it's about time that we revisited our dear friend Duncan Alexander. Okay. Let's get into the pressure index that's powered by Opta and brought to you by Goal and Shaw. Diego Costa ended a run of four games without a goal by scoring against Wolves in the FA Cup last weekend. And the former leader of the pressure index, currently in seventh, will be licking his lips at the prospect of devouring some swans on Saturday. Costa has scored seven goals in just four appearances against Swansea, the best rate of any Chelsea player against a single opponent in Premier League history. Score of a hat-trick against them in 2014, Costa knows a repeat performance will surely see him rise up the index once more. Meanwhile, teammate Eden Hazard has already scored eight goals at home in the Premier League this season, just two short of his personal best set back in 2013-14.
currently 10th in the pressure index, Hazard's ability to dovetail with Costa in the biggest moments this season is one of the reasons Chelsea top the table. Monday night sees champions Leicester in action, with the Foxes having swapped title running pressure 12 months ago for a desperate battle for survival. Their last five Premier League games have seen them both fail to score and lose, and no reigning English champions have lost six in a row since Everton, Fitzy Dean included, did so back in 1929. Now there's pressure. Ooh, exciting. Your boy Love Costa that. there, man. Uh, knocked off the top. Well, what do you think? I think, can... I think that Co Costa will recapture his top spot in the, in the pressure index. I really Ooh. think he will. He is so, so primed for this, for this weekend. He loves scoring goals against Swansea. Oh, yeah? He just loves scoring goals against Swansea. He scored, what is it, four go uh, seven goals in four games. That's okay. an unbelievable record. But then it's against Swansea. Seven goals in four games against, against Swansea. Against Swansea? Yeah, but Chelsea haven't got a good record against Swansea. Like. <clears throat> yeah, the last game was. Yeah, well, we haven't beaten them in three. We've, I think we've had. Uh, yeah, they've yeah, become a bit of a bogey draws. site up at the. Um, yeah. Up at Swansea. So I know. Yeah, they've become a bit of a bogey Do you side. think Costa is under pressure because he's 28, but looks like he's 68? Ah, oh, see, you can't do that. What? Don't you're hate guy, man. You can't be, don't you the Benjamin Button of football. You're better. Than, <laughs> you're, you are better than that. Judging a man on his looks, I, I thought you were a better man than that. I'm superficial. What can I but say? But I, I think I think it's going to be really good this weekend. And obviously, there's a connection between uh, the, the new management at Swansea. You know, Paul Clement and Claude McAlealy. There's mm. a Chelsea link there. Oh yeah, it's true. So I'm just not convinced how oh, this one's yeah. going to go. So is it yours or this? No, it's at home. Is that Stamford Bridge? Yeah. Which uh, is huge. Are we going to win? Yeah, you're, you're out massive your Chelsea, Chelsa, yeah, as well. Massive, aren't you? massive Chelsea fan. Yeah. Massive, How do you yeah. think this one's going to go? Uh, yeah, I think we got it. We're going to win. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Definitely at home. Are you looking, talking about we're the league title? Yeah. Yeah. League title, oh, league title, 100%. Are you it's as ours. confident about winning the league as this guy? Because this guy is just like... Nah, oh, nah, nah, nah. no, yeah, it's ours. It's is ours. It? It's no questions about it. Agreed. This season, Chelsea... You guys are very ours. humble at the bridge, aren't you? <laughs> 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 it's really oh, I don't think it's... Jeez, oh, guys. Uh, you tell me who's going to lead the charge to stop Chelsea. Is it... Who, who's the main challenger? Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm just not sure who, who it's going to be, you know. Every, every week it's somebody else. All right. Speaking of Costa, um, Emma, what's going on with the, with the poll? Yeah, we've Drag actually got a few people getting in contact. Um, a load of people are agreeing with you. Like, Costa should be at the top there. And personally, I think if we just shave off his beard, he's going to look really young. Like a proper baby. So don't be having any more of those Benjamin Button well, comments. Am I the only I one? Know. Yes, am I. Am I the only one that sees that it goes through pension stage? Well, no, I'm just saying, I, I'm not hating on anybody's, you know, if yeah, they... Yeah, take a leaf out of Emma's book. I'm sure he doesn't even have any grey hairs. Anyways, uh, a couple of people who said Satan are going to be at the top as well. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for in terms of comments. So make sure you get some involved. Uh, use that hashtag, studs up. Okay. And uh, moving onwards, yeah. No, so, it's OK. So, speaking of a... Of a oh, by the way... Just Brilliant word. news. Collison is here. Jack That's Collison right. is in the building. Oh. That's right. Your mum, uh, yeah. Doris. Your <laughs> mum. He's beaten Doris, yeah. Well played, Jack Collison. Um, so, pressure index, anyway. We're talking now. Leicester. <clears throat> you rate Damari Gray. You think he should be playing more? Hun yeah, 100%. How do you think they're going to get on this weekend? Yeah, they're home to Liverpool. <sighs> no, nah, yeah, that that's... man scored. That man <laughs> scored in the week. Could that be? I feel like that result in Seville was such a strong result that it could actually be the momentum to galvanise their season, and they could go on to like stay up and have possibly like, a good like it's just kind of crashed back yeah. down again. Do you today. think they're going to get relegated? Uh, I was thinking of putting a bet on them getting to get, uh, putting a bet on them to get relegated and win the Champions League. That'd be good. <sighs> and winning. Imagine that. Imagine playing in the Champions League next season at the Championship side. Yeah. If you've got Barcelona, then who you got next game? Imagine. A, a way to bother them. <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. I was surprised that they got rid of Ranieri. The timing of it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I, I thought it would maybe wait till the summer, see what yeah. happens. But, um, but I, as I said, if they get relegated, I think they should give their medals back from last season. Yeah. Make it null and void. Do you think, do you think um, they have somebody lined up to go in? Do you think they have somebody ready to step in? They must do. I mean, you can't just get rid of uh, Maniabi right now. Yeah, it is bad time. It is crazy timing. You just wouldn't. You just yeah. wouldn't sack him unless you were 100% sure of what you were going to do the next step, would you? Yeah, yeah, they must have been talking about it. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was on, I think it was on the cards. I do like him because I was a Chelsea fan and I've got a soft spot for him. But I think it was on the cards, so they must have they must have been ready. There must be someone ready to step in. Yeah? Yeah. Who do you reckon might come in? That's the thing. So I don't know. Because, who's out there, isn't it? Because at the beginning of the season, I reckon if they got rid of him at the beginning of the season, maybe a good manager could have come in. Mm. But now they're kind of just the same old Leicester. Yeah. So... Do you know what? Do you know the reason why I think this has all happened? Do you know, do you know who Ranieri needs to hold wholly accountable for him losing his job and for Leicester's position? 
It's N'Golo Kante. Yeah. He's that, the greatest yeah, yeah. man. Oh, more Chelsea talk. Oh, no. he, he's unbelievable. <laughs> but I think, do, do you agree with me? You've got to think, it's got to be more than a coincidence that N'Golo Kante has swapped clubs as the clubs have basically <laughs> swapped positions. But can it all be down to this one sole player? Oh, I would have said no before a it happened. A whole club. It's, His it's tackling's a joke. Yeah, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not dissing Kante. He's a great player, but one player. And he's also, he's not only, he's, of course, you know, the ground he covers and that's what gets the highlights. But he's also excellent on the ball. He scored a good goal for us against Manchester United. He's oh, yeah. The oh, yeah. He keeps giving. That was awful, like, this morning. Oof, Kante, yeah. that was a good Would goal. He scored a best few. Transfer, as the best transfer that's that over the summer. But do you, think he, do you think Chelsea's capture of him is better than, say, Manchester United's freebie capture of Ibrahimovic? Ooh, possibly. I mean, if you guys win the league, which... Yeah, yeah it's not much. I reckon, yeah. What do you reckon, Alf? Yeah, if we win, if we win the league then, yeah, you've got to put him up there. I, f I think he's been the best signing all, uh, all season, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. He's just been, he's just solid. He's like, n no, nothing yeah. gets past him. Must be him. a very easy job to play central midfield alongside him. You just do all your running. <laughs> you just stand and go, hey, to, to be, yeah, to be, what, I mean, what do you yeah. think of Matic this season, Rory? Yeah. Matic, oh, where's Matic? Yeah. Matic's playing, Matic's yeah. playing, Matic's playing well. Yeah. I hear footsteps, I hear footsteps. I have some wonderful news. It's coming in. It's being yeah. fed into my ear. Right Manny Yeri is hit. Emma's buzzing in the corner. Emma's over the moon. Stop it, stop Emma, it. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure the, you get those comments in is... and questions as well so I yeah. can ask them a little bit later. Very, very true. The wonderful news is Jack Collison mm. is in the building. So if you want to get your questions in, comment below and we could be asking him them and he could be answering them. I'm still waiting for me. All looking good, Emma? Yeah, no, it's all looking good. So I was like completely miles away. I'm having a look. You know, in terms of the poll, right? Loads of people are saying uh, Zlatan and they're also saying uh, Costa, but surely, you know, Sanchez is way up there in terms of the actual facts and the data. Like, nobody's really saying him at the moment, so I'm quite surprised. Well, the thing is, San Sanchez sometimes gets pushed out on the left because Giroud plays up front, whereas Zlatan, he's always up front. Mourinho loves him. But Zlatan the other week, like, he got well frustrated when he had, like, three different attempts. Like, he just... I don't know, he just gets stroppy, mm. doesn't he not? Do you not I, think he, like, kicks his dummy out of the pram? Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. I'm not convinced I agree, but I do think you make a good point. However, the wonderful news is finally in. Please welcome yeah. Jack Collison Finally. onto the set. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you, beat, you beat the storm. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. Mate, you beat the storm. <laughs> you can, you, we can <laughs> just all bundle it. Lovely to see you. How's it going? You all right? What's going on, bruv? You good? Lovely yeah, to see you. Uh, have a seat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How's everything going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. So good. what have you done? Just been sitting in traffic on the A1? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Doris decided to come out today, didn't she? So, uh, yeah, the train's all cancelled. Uh, Why did they call the storm Doris? Like, give, give, give it a more appropriate name, like Storm Pain in the Backside or something. Yeah, <laughs> Doris. Yeah, so, a bit flustered, but made it here just in time. No, so. you did, and thank you so much yeah. for coming on. It's a joy to have you here. So, so we, we've just been talking about, you know, Leicester and how it's all going for them. They've had some... We've, put, we've managed to kind of put it down to one thing, and their, their demise is due to N'Golo Kante <laughs> leaving. Yeah. Do you think that he is that good? Oh, he, he was incredible last season, and even more so this year. He, mm. He just he just spots spots danger, doesn't he? He's, he's like a fireman. Any anywhere there's trouble, he's pitting fires out. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. And play as well, but look, he, he was a big miss. But Leicester have struggled on on quite a few fronts this year. Yeah. Last year was a fantastic story, wasn't it? Everything seemed to go the right way, and this year they they're finding it a bit tough. And yeah. for me, it's sad news about Ranieri. Mm. I think it is, isn't and it? And we were also uh, we had have had a poll about who would be top striker. It was a uh, uh, is it uh, Zlatan, Sanchez, Lukaku, and who's oh, uh, Costa. Uh, yeah, Costa. Um, you you played against some of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of them, yeah. yeah. Uh, who, who was who was the toughest, the toughest opponent? <laughs> oh, I didn't get a chance to play against Zlatan, but if for me, he's he's brilliant, isn't he? Is just, he the one that you hold in the highest? Yeah, esteem? I, I like just everything about him. I love his arrogance and. Not only does he, he talk the talk, he walks the walk on the pitch, doesn't yeah. he? And he's scored, he played scored so him. many goals. For Wales, Sweden, you, you yeah, would have, to would have, that one. it would have been nice other than the dodgy knee, wouldn't it? But uh, no, he, he's been fantastic. To be honest, all of them have. Diego Costa's obviously doing the business for Chelsea this year, top yeah. of the league, firing in the goals. Um, yeah. But yeah, for me, he's the He's the maverick, isn't he? He's the Who's daddy. Who's the best player that you have played against? Uh, for me, I was, I was fortunate I played against some good players. I think Wesley Snyder was one who really stands out. Oh, um, yeah, playing for Wales against Holland. Mm. 
Um, and another one would be Frank Lampard. Just, Frank Lampard? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. hero. Yeah. Was, yeah. was he difficult to track? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he was incredible. <laughs> He's the most wonderful man in the whole world ever. He is. No, he is. Down, down. <laughs> you no man crush, yeah, no, no man crush. Technical ability. It, was, it was similar with both of them, to be honest. I was so focused on watching the ball and seeing where it was. And yeah. one minute they'd be on your right shoulder <laughs> playing a simple pass. Next minute you're watching the ball and they're picking it up. Yeah. Going attacking the goals. I mean, especially Lampard. He, every time he played against West Ham, he seemed to score. And yeah. It didn't look good on me because obviously I was meant to be marking <laughs> it. But <laughs> no, it's uh, it great to play against some some players of that quality. And what about players you've played with? Like, you've, you've played alongside yeah. somebody like Gareth Bale, haven't you? Yeah, obviously Gareth Bale, Aaron Ramsey are probably the, the standout to him and big names. But um, on a personal level, it's a, a joy to play, play alongside Scotty Parker. I mean, the. The fella won Football Writers Player of the Year in a team that got relegated, mm, um, yeah. which is which is no easy feat, is it? And just the way he approached everything, training day to day, he, he put an arm around me as a youngster, sort of coming oh, really? in the team, and and then just to watch him out there, he was an animal on the pitch, and and he looked after me quite a bit when I got myself in a spot above us. So no, he was brilliant. <laughs> That's brilliant to hear. So R Wayne Rooney has been in the press a lot recently, and you know there's been suggestions that he was going to be moving, and and he hasn't. Do you ever played against Wayne Rooney? Yeah, played against Rooney uh, for England and Manchester United, and what a wonderful player! And he takes a lot of stick, and he, look, he's got a goal record for United, goal record for England, mm. and and I I can't believe he isn't appreciated as much as as what he really should be. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, what do you, what do you make of the current West Ham squad? Good, it's a good squad. They just haven't really quite clicked yet, have they? Mm. I, I think the whole. It's a move, oh. isn't it? The London Stadium. Yeah. It's done them no favours. It hasn't at all. It's took a little while to bed in, isn't it? And there's been a few teething problems, but thankfully they seem to have got past that a little bit now. The whole Pyatt situation seems to have really brought them together as a group. I know they've been doing a bit of warm weather training in Dubai, and I'm sure they're going to come back looking to attack the, yeah. the last bit of the season. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Um, do you know what, Jack? I was reading some of the stuff that you said sort of as you, uh, as you made your debut, and you were quite emotional talking about it in this interview that I read, and it was really, really interesting. But there was something that made me laugh. I think Alan Kerbishley was it who gave you your debut on yeah. New Year's Day yeah. at the Emirates. And he said something to, along the lines of, like, stay close to Cesc Fabregas. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, <laughs> How difficult a job is uh, that? I'll, I'll never forget the day. So I was, I was at, absolutely over the moon just to be on the bench. And me and James Tompkins had been travelling, travelling, nowhere near it. And he told us in the lift that we were both going to be involved. And we waited for him to get out of the lift. And then we celebrated like we'd won the World Cup. And <laughs> it was brilliant. It was a very West Ham thing to do. Yeah, oh, yeah, quality. And then uh, warming up, uh, getting abused for our dodgy haircuts. Uh, who are you, all of that. <laughs> Before I knew it, I had the uh, curly finger, come on, you're going on. And I, to be honest, I didn't really have time to think. And just as I'm about to go on, I'm just sort of taking it all in. And he goes, yeah, try and get close to Fabricas if you can. <laughs> it will tap on the head. <laughs> like it's the easiest thing in the world. Like, yeah. uh, the, best, the best thing is, I think the second half, I run 7.5K in the second half alone. I touched the ball about twice, but it was like some sort of record that year, I think. And, oh. but, no, what, what a great experience. And it just gave me a little, little taste and, and made me want to... So yeah. we'll get more Is Fabregas that good? Did you think that he was brilliant to play against? He, he was brilliant to be fair, but I must say Flamini that day was was pretty special actually. Really? And he, I mean, for me coming in, obviously a dream of playing in the Premier League, but to sort of see these players up close and personal, and I sort of thought, oh, I've got a little bit of work to do now, so I better get my head down and, and try and get a bit closer to oh, him. Mate, that's fascinating. Do you know what, Jack? I could ask you questions all day long, but it's unfair of me. Um, there have been loads of questions coming in. Um, Emma, I think you've got a few questions for Jack. Yes, we do, but first of all, right, Jack, so uh, you're, you, you were born in Watford. Yeah. You played for West Ham. Yeah. Do you not have, like, a little bit of a soft spot for, like, Watford? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I, to, to be honest, the, the Sunday league team I played in as a kid, a lot of my mates sort of went the Watford way and yeah. I moved away, so... Ended up at, at Peterborough in the end, but yeah, yeah a bit of a soft spot. And good, good, good. Keep it going. Great so, to see. I am. <laughs> oh, have you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Isn't it's like hereditary? So yeah. the family go down and. Like, oh, brilliant! Really no, it's great to see him doing so well, and obviously yeah. um, I still speak to Valon Barami a little bit. He's, mm -hmm. he's obviously that's interesting. Doing so well. Stop it. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, really? A bit of a soft spot for him. A bit. No, 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 not at all. Um, no, I don't. Why are you stop it? You can't be doing this. I'm going to go the same colour as my top. I'm not. No. Actually, stop it. Will you like? So basically, what for West Ham at the weekend? What do you think the score is going to be? It's going to be a massive game. Isn't I'm going it? to it, so are I'm you, really yeah, excited. Yeah, looking forward to it. I, I've got a few family going down actually, so it's, yeah. it's quite a big game, but. 
I honestly think West Ham have turned a corner and I think they're going to go on and, and finish the season strong. So I'm going to go and away win this time. Do you really? Mm. I know, yeah. even though like we beat West Ham 4 2. I know, 2 0 up, weren't they? I know, it's so good. Um, enough about me. Like, <laughs> uh, we've got a few questions in. Sorry, one second. iPad, you know. <laughs> God. Uh, James said you played against Lampard and Rooney. Who was your toughest opponent? Yeah, definitely, definitely both of them. I had a couple of tough games against Lee Catamole as well. We, uh, oh, grim. Yeah, he ended up booting me a couple of times. So that, was, <laughs> that was a totally different Would challenge. he be the hard man? Would he be the man? That, like, would, do you agree with the Clatamole? He's, he's definitely one that, that stood out, especially in, in the early days when he was at Wigan. What does he do? Just like, rough tucks and grab yeah, him and stuff? Yeah, it gives you, gives you a bit of that. And also played against Pogates quite oh, early oh, on. Yeah. He was an animal and he... he kept getting into me during the game and then he signed for us about two years later and I was still scared of him. It was incredible. <laughs> oh. um, Matt said, is Bale as good as Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Uh, look, Gareth Bale, I've been so fortunate to see him up close and personal and mm. some of the stuff he can do with a football is just incredible. I used to, as we were warming up for training, you know, you're normally smashing balls to each other and having a bit of fun and literally he's... He's it in 10, 15 balls right in the top corner from 35, 40 yards and laughing about it. And I'm sat there, like, trying to get myself going, trying to be able to pull <laughs> that far. <laughs> so I think he's only going to get better and better. And within the next two, three years, he'll be number one. How can you get any better than that? Wow. <laughs> uh, last question from Jack. He said, um, who is the most skillful player on the training ground? <sighs> Probably Ravel Morrison. I'm, I'm so, so glad he's signed for QPR because he's had a bit of a tricky period and literally this kid, he's, he's the best kid I've ever seen. He could run past you, he could score with his left foot, right foot, he could get his foot stuck in and I just hope for Ravel now. He, he's been away, had a little bit of time in Italy and hopefully he's going to come down, get his head down and, and really show everyone what sort of player he is because mm. there's no doubt he could be the best player in the championship. So that... The whole of the show today, we've had a poll going up. Who yeah. do you think is the top scorer? So we had Sanchez, uh, Lukaku, I can't even say it. You know Lukaku, what? Yeah. Lukaku, you got it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those names you just yeah. can't say, you know what I mean? You've got Costa and uh, Zlatan. Who do you think would have won that poll? Oh, pressure. Oh, yeah, thank you for the pressure. It's <laughs> important that you give it the trying diligence. Trying to work it out, isn't it? Oh, God, <laughs> it's just... <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe Sanchez. 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 Yeah. He's got the most goals at the moment, so could be. Who do you think? Uh, Zlatan. He's been in red hot form, isn't he? And Who? Zlatan. Yeah. Ibrahimovic. Uh, well, the, the results are in, and actually, yeah, Zlatan has absolutely yeah, smashed it. People are thinking that Zlatan is going to be the top scorer. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. It's, yeah, it's hardly surprising. I disagree, but it's hardly surprising. That <laughs> oh, yeah, only because you're biased. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just, thank you so much for coming in for us. <laughs> Will you do us a favour? Would you be kind enough to come in and do a full show with us another time? Yeah, you did no. brilliantly yeah. to get in. No problem. <laughs> the storm. Well, We'd love to have one, but no. it's like nice and swift. Right, it? it's now time. This is this is crucial now. Yeah. This is the real big moment. Um, I hope you're. Are you all right to just kick a football around with just us? Just about. Alfie, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Right, there's a there's a challenge that goes on, and I take it incredibly seriously. It's simply it's the penny floater challenge. I'm at the top yeah. of that board. However many you can do. In front of Paul Pogba, please. Right. <laughs> take to the stage. Can you beat my tally? What is your tally? My tally was 13. No, it wasn't. It was 10. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, he's done me. He's done me in boots as well. Uh, oh, furious. You've won. Hey. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm on big toes now. as well, right. isn't it? How many was that? That was, that was 16, eh? <laughs> 16. 16 is impressive. There's a pen down there. Right. I like it that you were trying to. No know, pressure, bruv. I'm trying to. Right, over to you. I've no got pressure, your back bro. here, Rory. I've got your back. No pressure. Oh, easy. He's got a good touch. Yeah, this is, this very is, relaxed, is isn't he? There we go. Look. It's nice. Any tricks, easy, any tricks? Easy, easy. Oh, I'll any... beat him first. No. <laughs> Any yeah, you must be able to Can you? Oh, three. Oh, right. I'm fuming. I'm so upset. Sorry, you lied to me. Not do it back down. I'm Devin Louise on me. Devin Louise. Devin Louise. Oh, no, Step out. I can't, I can't oh, believe that. I'm, I'm so upset. So, I've been rugby tackled like Devin Louise. I was waiting for him. I was waiting for that. And I've lost my, <laughs> and I've lost my place on the leaderboard. I'm so upset. Thank you. Come on, man. Thank you so much, I'm so upset. Oh. Thank you.
you all I think if you took them out, it would probably split in half. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's ask you. Jack, it's been a joy to have you on. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks for and I will us. forgive you for beating me on that because you've put such effort into getting here. <laughs> oh, no, Alfie, wonderful it. skills. Nice Thank you so you. much yeah. for coming Thank on and trying so to teach much. me. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Okay. And we'll see you next week as well. We're taking to A and E. We're going to go get pasties. Yeah. Eight o'clock for loads more fun. Yeah. See you then. Bye.